The Niger Delta region has had its fair share of security challenges. From kidnapping to piracy and sometimes open confrontation with security personnel. All that appears to be part of the reason for the security meeting, called at the instance of the Inspector General of Police, Ibrahim Idris. In attendance are the governors of Aqua Ibom, Rivers, Cross River, the deputy governors of Edo and Bielsa, and a representative of the Delta State Government. We also want to welcome her especially. They are joined by traditional rulers, senior police officers, and other guests for the dialogue with centers on insecurity and its social economic impact and conflict resolution. For the Inspector General of Police, the forum is a step forward in dealing with the challenges of insecurity in the country. This lecture series will assist the police in understanding the first security challenges confronting the various geopolitical zones and help to articulate solutions and strategies to tackle them. And after some goodwill messages, some governors take time to shed light on some of their concerns. What is giving rise to insecurity? Why is it that in Nigeria we can spend almost five billion dollars to lay pipes in the deep ocean from the region that oil is being exploited to where they want to go and refine the oil? And then you tell us that's where the market is. In the same country, we are going outside to, exp uh, to import. There is no way you can institute security with a hungry stomach. When a young man and wom woman out of school have no job, a desperate nature, which is the activism of the human mind, you must desperately seek to survive. The governor of River State, yes, some week here, believes the issue of insecurity in the country is being politicized. I'm ready to spend money in order to stop kidnapping. I'm ready to partner with the police to stop courtesy. I'm ready to make sure that no Amber comes to reverse to do anything. This security summit is expected to chart a new pathway to ending these concerns. Emmanuel Ere, Channels Television News.